John Calvin on Psalm 133. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the dew of Hermon, as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life for evermore. How good it is when brothers live together in peace. We have here clear proof that David holds all true union among brothers to take its rise from God and to have this for its legitimate object, that all may be brought to worship God in purity and call upon his name with one consent. Would the similitude have been borrowed from holy ointment if it had not been to denote that religion must always hold the first place? Any concord, it is thus insinuated, which may prevail amongst men, is insipid, if not pervaded by a sweet savor of God's worship. We maintain, therefore, that men are to be united amongst themselves in mutual affection, with this as the great end, that they may be placed together under the government of God. It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion. A holy unity has not only a sweet savor before God, but is productive of good effects as the dew moistens the earth and supplies it with sap and freshness. Moses, we knew, said of Judea, that it was not like Egypt, fertilized by the overflowing of its river, but such as drank daily of the rain of heaven. Deuteronomy 11, verse 11. David suggests that the life of man would be sapless, unprofitable, and wretched, unless sustained by brotherly harmony. For there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life evermore. David adds in the close that God commands his blessing where peace is cultivated, by which is meant that he testifies how much he is pleased with concord amongst men by showering down blessing upon them. The same sentiment is expressed by Paul in other words, in Second Quran, uh, excuse me, in Second Corinthians 13, verse 11, and Philippians 4, verse 9, quote, Live in peace, and the God of peace shall be with you. Unquote. Let us then, as much as lies in us, study to walk in brotherly love, that we may secure the divine blessing. Let us even stretch out our arms to those who differ from us, desiring to bid them welcome, if they will but return to the unity of the faith. Do they refuse? Then let them go. The only brotherhood that can be recognized is amongst the children of God.